With my paragraph style set up, I'm now ready to go and start laying out my pages. I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up my pages panel. Now looking at my pages panel at the top, it says none. And there's a page here and then it says a master and then there's two pages here or a spread. Now looking at this, I can see there's a big A on each of these pages. What that is telling me is that each of these pages are designed based on the A master. Now, I want to have something that's similar through all of the pages, except my first couple of pages are going to be a little bit different. I need to know what my first pages are going to be. I know my first page is going to be a title page, and so I don't want the same design applied to the title page as to my other pages. So what I'm going to do is click on the box or the page next to none, drag it down to page one. Now it's taken the A away, and it's also taken away the master. Now looking at this, they still look the same. If we scroll down, we can see our pages, page one, page two, page three. They still look the exact same. That's because there's nothing applied to the A master. So let's go ahead and start applying something to the A master. To do that, let's double click on the A master on the left hand side and you can see the page is brought up right here. For this design, what we're going to do is create a line or a bar up at the top, maybe just the title of our document. So I'm going to go ahead, click on the line tool, and I'm going to click and drag over here. Now if I hold the shift key, it locks it in place so into 15 degree increments. I'm going to have this go about three quarters of the way across the page. And I want to add stroke to this or thickness to the line. Right now it, it's at zero points. You can see up at the top. I'm going to make this one, two points. You can also access that by clicking on stroke on the side and you come up with more options as well. But right now I have a stroke applied to my A master. I'm going to click off of that and I'm going to click on the type tool. I'm going to draw a type box up here and I'm going to put in the title of my document. So for right now I'm just going to call it title of document. I can click on the move tool. I can move and I can adjust this wherever I want it to be. I'm going to just put it right there for right now. Now, I go back to my pages. I'm on the A master. You can see there's a little bit of squiggle lines down here, but you can see the same thing has been applied to all of the other pages. If I click out of the master and I click on page two, for example, you'll see it says title of document, title of document on page four. But if I scroll over to the right to page five, there's nothing there. So what I've done is I've set up this master page to say that on every left side at the top there's going to be a line and it's going to have this text there. Now I want to put the page number of every page on the right page so I'm going to double click on the right master. I scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to insert in another text box. Now for this text box I'm just going to type in page. Now I don't want to have to go through and number every page every time, especially when I make changes. I want InDesign to do it automatically for me. So to do this, you right click inside of a text box, right click inside of a text box, go up to insert special character, other, oh, I'm sorry, right click, right click inside of a text box, Go up to insert special character, markers, current page number. There's other ways to do this as well. This is just the way that I do it. And it puts in A because I'm on the A master. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this. I want to move it to the center. To do that, I click up on the paragraph up here at the top and then I can center align the text. The paragraph, just so you know, deals with paragraph text. The A deals with specific uh, characteristics of individual type or characters. So now I've created my A master. I have my bar up at the top that says title of document. I have page A down here on the bottom. Now I'm going to click back on my pages and every page if I scroll down that is inside of the A master includes the page number as well as the title of the document. So now we've started the layout of how our document is going to look with the page numbers and the document. This is going to apply to all of the pages inside this document that are under A master. 
Now, I'm not going to show you how, but you can add more masters if you want to. Simply right click up in this area, create new master, and you can create a B master, you can create a C, you can create multiple masters for different types of layouts that you're going to create within your document.